I didn't go on my first real date until I was 21. <laughs> Ooh, this is beautiful. So crazy how you go out and like people are out. Dating a white man? A white tea? I don't. I'm excited. I'm getting ready to cut out, cut out my braids. Ah. <laughs> India, welcome back or welcome to my channel and welcome to the start of another vlog. You guys, happy Thursday. Um, I have not vlogged in probably like a week-ish and we have hit a huge milestone. Girl, and you probably already know what it is because I'm sure you just saw an ad before you watch this video, baby. And if you haven't seen an ad yet, give it a few minutes okay i'm so so excited i cannot believe that my channel is now monetized <laughs> like, oh my gosh if you guys didn't know this is my second youtube channel my first one is completely devoted to hair girl so if you like my little bohemian knotless braids and you want to see a tutorial be sure you head over there and check it out i'll link it in the description box down below for y'all but i've been on youtube since probably like I think I started that hair channel maybe like 2014 ish and I would just whenever I did my hair I would just post a hair video and then I decided I wanted to do lifestyle content girl and I have now a second channel and it's only been nine months and I'm so I'm so excited and I'm just so thankful to you guys for liking for commenting for subscribing girl for watching my videos for supporting my channel because I'm literally so happy I can't I really I really can't believe it like it's almost like really shocking because when you're first doing it it really feels like it's never gonna happen and then it finally happens and it's just like yes like we did it so thank you so much to you guys and yeah girl let's go ahead and jump into this vlog so we're gonna start the vlog off with drum roll please Brrr, packages <laughs> we're gonna start off with packages so we have like four things to open and I have a missing package we have like lockers I feel like most apartment complexes have lockers but normally you know like when you have the locker like they text you right like you get a code and you go to the locker you put in the code you get your package we're not getting codes something is wrong with the locker so they're we're not getting like they don't text us like we don't get a text when the package is put in the locker and so they have been leaving a, they're supposed to be right now while until they get this fixed delivering the packages to our doors which like you know isn't really happening like I think I ordered a few things from Amazon and Amazon has been delivering it to my door but everything else girl is just like I don't know good luck so I'm missing a package it's a PR package but it's a really important package because it's for my hair and I'm taking these braids out and I'm washing my hair next week and I'm like okay I don't I don't even have the products to even be able to wash my hair so anyways girl we have other things firstly we have I don't know what what is this I have no idea and it literally says customs on it and I'm like and now I'm looking at the detailed description and it says a handcrafted oh I let me use scissors a handcrafted orange bar I have literally no idea so let's let's go ahead and find out oh this is the bar okay this is called Kojic acid soap original I saw a reel on Instagram of course girl of this girl who was trying to lighten her underarms like bikini area elbows all that kind of stuff and she recommended this soap the soap was from Amazon but it took it wasn't on prime it took maybe like a week and a half to come here so I'm really excited she she showed before and afters and she was like it really works she really recommends it I think it was like $13 so I'm really excited to start using this because I mean even skin tone for the win okay so we'll be using this I will be documenting my story <laughs> and of course I will be making my own TikTok a real girl so be sure that you follow me okay um but yeah excited to try that out okay had no idea what that was this is from Tarte oh no we love some Tarte Tarte always sends some PR so let's see what they've got for us today okay first thing that we have oh my gosh are you kidding me please what not my name oh 
my gosh. This is so cute. I am literally about to put this on. Y'all know, pretty much for my gold necklaces, I always wear my little Capricorn or I wear like an angel number, like a 555 or a 111 or something. But my name? Oh my gosh, what? I'm so excited about this. How cute. Okay, definitely gonna be trying that on shortly. And they sent a new palette. This is the Man Eater palette. I have one of their Man Eater palettes which I love. I took it on vacation. It's like, let me, it's right here, literally. Let me. Okay, I lied. It was not Man, e man Eater. It was the, I have a Man Eater palette, but this one is the Tartlet Toasted. They sent this to me and love it. I took it on vacation. It's literally the perfect nude, like all your nice, like natural shades, everything that, that like, everything that you need for like a cut crease, not a cut not a cut crease everything that you I mean you could but everything that you need you know like your crease color your lid you know to darken up the outer corner all that this palette is so bomb love it highly recommend and it's little so it's like perfect for traveling but this one is the man eater nightfall so it looks like nightfall so I'm assuming it's gonna be like darker oh pretty love the purple Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, how pretty. These colors. Love, 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 love. Okay, period. Shout out to Tarte, thank you. Also, love an eyeshadow palette that has a mirror, please. Okay, and thank you, thank you, thank you to Dr. Bronner's for sending me this refill of their peppermint soap. You guys, it's literally like a milk container. This is so cute. Milk juice, whatever. So it's a refill. So I think you're just supposed to take it and like pour it in, you know, whatever bottle you currently have. Or if you're someone who likes to like transfer their soaps to like the little glass bottle and like with the little screw top and you have them like going across with the labels, this is perfect. So I don't know, I don't know like how, what the price difference is or whatever, but this is 32 ounces. So I feel like the, the, pla the big round one that I have is also 32 ounces. I don't know, but y'all know my favorite Dr. Bronner soap is the peppermint. Love it. If you're a peppermint girly and you don't have this, you're slacking, okay? Now, the last thing that I have, the last package that we have to open is something that I purchased with my own money, girl, and it is none other than Bath & Body Works candles, okay? Now, when I got this box, why was it already open? QTNA. I'm gonna just say that you know, the box was a little flimsy and you know, whatever, but I'm definitely about to count out my candles and make sure I have everything and make sure that nothing was stolen because if it was, I will be going back to the store. So I don't know how many I ordered. There are eight in here. I don't know exactly how many I got. So I'm gonna face y'all down and we can open them up one by one. First one is, I tried to pretty much pick like fall type of scents. I think this is Oh, this is Palo Santo and Sage. Okay, so I did, I bought this based off a recommendation from, girl, I don't know, I think Chelsea, Janae, and Daquana White both recommended this candle, so let's smell it. Mmm. Oh, it smells really good. Really nice, nice, light, fresh. This is definitely a year-round candle. Love the packaging as well. It's White Barn, so, you know. It says Clary Sage, Palo Santo, and Ambered Wood. Love it. This is Cozy Cashmere. I think I have smelled this before, but let's smell it again. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Smells amazing. Love it. I feel like... I feel like I've had this candle before, but I didn't recognize it because of this packaging. This looks like different packaging, but it still smells the same, amazing. I got another stress relief. This is just a go-to. I really just like to burn this when I take baths, so I always like to make sure that I have one. This is sweater weather because hello, happy fall. Okay, sage, juniper, and eucalyptus. 12 out of 10. I love this candle so much. Sweater weather is just, I mean, I just, it's everything to me. <laughs> it's everything to me. This is 
This is white pumpkin. They changed the packaging because I have a white pumpkin right here. Which one do you guys prefer? I kind of, I don't know, I like both. I really like this frosted though. I really like this frosted, but this is pretty as well. Mm. White pumpkin smells so good. It's a sweet candle, but to me it's not like too sweet. White pumpkin, gla caramel glaze and ground spices. The fall vibe. Okay, frozen lake, 12 out of, uh, 15 out of 10. Okay, cool eucalyptus, lavender, juniper berries. Oh my, every time I smell this candle, it smells so good. Like, I think this is might be my favorite. I don't know, this is this and then like sweater weather. Sweater weather is like really close behind Frozen Lake. Th those are just the best, the absolute best. Yes, leaves. Even though I know what they smell like, I have to smell them again as soon as I get them. <laughs> this one, I don't know the, oh. Um, crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice, and of course the natural essential oils. So those were all of the packages that we had to open. I'm about to go ahead and just put this stuff away. Probably take a little pick because I probably put my candles on my thumbnail and then put that stuff away and just clean this up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. It's 1.38, I only had oatmeal for breakfast. So I'm just gonna have, I think, either some canned chicken or some canned tuna and crackers, just something simple. We are leaving the house today, okay? So we're actually just gonna go run um, some errands with my mom. So she's gonna pick me up when she gets off of work. We're gonna go, she wants to get a snowball girl because it's been the whole summer and she hasn't had a snowball. And today is literally August 31st, so summer is over, okay? Snowball stands are gonna be closing. So we're gonna go do that probably first. And then I know she wants to go to Total Wine I need to go to Trader Joe's so I can get some granola for sure. And then we'll just see, that might be it or we might end up doing something else after that. But yeah, I just figured I'd go ahead and start the vloggy vlog now. And yeah, I made some content this morning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and probably eat, edit, and then I'll just check in with y'all in a little bit. It is 2.54, we're getting ready to head out. I'm wearing absolutely nothing spectacular. My little shorts from Sam's, I was like, I'm putting these on today because I haven't worn them. I've worn all the colors except for these and it's almost September, girl. So it's gonna be time to put these away. So I said, I'll put these on today. Little white fitted shirt is from Zara. And then I'm wearing my little knockoff Birkenstocks from Amazon. And I'm wearing the little bag that Kopari sent me. Isn't this so cute? It's so cute. I love the little tote and I feel like it's cute with these shoes. So yeah, that's the vibe. And the scent of the day is none other than Versace Bright Crystal with, of course, the Gingham Gorgeous by Bath and Body Works underneath. So period. What is he doing over there? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm um, a small, um, getting the same thing, coconut cream. Yes, and condensed milk. You want the same thing? Yes. Okay. Too small is fine. That's all my cash. I, like I, I go 850. I go to the dentist tomorrow. I'm gonna to see if I can uh, go to the bank. Oh, to call to the office. Thank you. I'm vlogging. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I should have put all that on it. Wait, let's see. Oh, well, you got one more chance. <laughs> That's why y'all pay that 75 cents. It's my performance fee. <laughs> all right, here's y'all's first one. You enjoy that, ma'am. Right, you got your angle? Gotcha. Make sure to tag us if uh, you decide to post it. Okay. It'll be on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is the best in the city right here. Yes. <laughs> there you go, ma'am. You have a blessed Thank and you. lovely day now. Okay? You too. Yeah. To be good, you need at least four people. Okay, yes. So he was telling me that's him and his family's thing. Oh. He said wherever they go out of town. Mm -hmm. But 
That was the one body you said you made. Put Come right here, man. We've decided to come to dinner at Katie's. Nothing was, is that a space over on that side? Where? Across. Oh, in front of those trash cans? Right here. Oh, um, yeah, I guess. I guess you can park on either side of the street. That's my tires. Uh huh. Thank God. Yeah, but, um, when they brought it, I said the salad looks really nice. I told you they have that mild high pie. Good morning and happy September. I literally got these yesterday and I wanted to show them, show the pack to y'all before I put it in the fridge. These are from Trader Joe's, obviously. Um, sparkling pineapple juice beverage. I've never had these before, but I literally only drink water. Like I only in my fridge have water, almond milk and wine and that's it. So I don't really drink like soft drinks or juices or anything like that. So I got this because I wanted to have something like in a can where it's like, okay, today I want something which is like, you know, once a month <laughs> that I might have a taste for something. So I'm excited to try these. I really just wanted to show y'all the pack before I open them up. So let's see what they're giving. I literally just got up. It's I think like a little after nine. Oh, my battery's about to die. Wait, I'll order some. So cute. Oh my gosh, adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge. I literally just wanted to show y'all how amazing my breakfast looks. Okay, bye. Huh? Oh. We're having appetizers. Well, an appetizer. We're only having dip. And chips. Ranch dip, chips, wine, Cosmos. Cosmos. Yum, yum. They find, I, think, I don't think I told you. We went to, uh, not Trader Joe's. We did go to Trader Joe's when we went to Total Wine. They did have the um the red rosé that i wanted to get last time that they were out of i feel like i showed this to y'all before but in case i have not this is it really really good if you like rosé it's a pinot noir rosé and it was only 9.99 their regular red wine is almost 20 so it's literally like half the price not hot enough it's, it's, yes, for seafood, that's good. You don't want it to be, um, you don't want it to burn. You hear it, Susan? Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I'll save us some money. Honestly, you that out. Have you met your daughter? This is awesome. Yeah. In the living room, basically. I'm looking at this area and then the refrigerator. Yeah. I can leave yours open if you would like. <laughs> <laughs> We're having homemade shrimp burgers. So y'all know like the shrimp burgers from Trader Joe's. I buy those, but these are homemade. They look, they look delish. Butter lettuce, tomatoes, and what? Avocado tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Hmm. Yum, yum. And of course, fries.
Tuesday. I'm trying to see, wait. Cause y'all know it's always Scarlet takes a tumble with the camera. Okay, so it's Tuesday, it's 11.37 in the morning. I am sitting outside of the beauty supply store. So I'm getting ready to take out my braids, which I'm like a little sad about because I really, really, really love this hairstyle. If you guys have not tried out the Bohemian Knotless Braids Girl and you've been thinking about it, like, do it do it okay they're so cute and i just uh, i just love them so i'm gonna be taking them out today it's been literally almost two months so it's time for them to go um i'm gonna be doing twist and i'm gonna do island twist so it's kind of gonna be a play on these but like senegalese twist with like a few little added pieces of curly hair so i'm really trying to decide if i want to do black or if i want to do red so i'm about to go into this beauty supply store and see girl what I what I can find to see obviously I know they're gonna have the stuff for me to do black because I'm gonna do the same black curly hair and then just black braiding hair and I'm gonna um curl the end with I'm gonna flexi ride the end and I'm gonna dip it um for the curl at the bottom so yeah but I might want to do red because I don't know I've been wearing black hair like all year I haven't worn red hair I don't know like if I do color I usually do red before I do like blonde I don't know something something about the red just gets me so let's go ahead and go in here and see what they have okay so I didn't even show y'all anything in there because I don't know like it's it's a new beauty supply store and it's like nice and big and I can see myself going there looking around when I'm just you know they just didn't have what I wanted today so I'm trying to figure out do I want to go to another beauty supply that I haven't been to because I went to like three of them already like last week and took some pictures of like you know some of the things that they have like I feel like nothing was exactly what I wanted so I just like took pictures and wanted to go around there there's another beauty supply store that is like it's far from here I don't far probably like 15 minutes but like I don't even I don't feel like even going over there but I'm just like uh I don't know I don't know so I'm like looking at my phone at these pictures trying to see what should I do the thing about see they don't even have the I want to get the same brand of braiding hair that I always use which is the sensational Rua and they didn't have that brand in there so like I wasn't gonna get just any old braiding hair unless the color was like perfect so I'm trying to see uh, this would be super easy if I would just do black. Like I know I can go to that beauty supply and get the black and then just be done. But if I this red is like, I don't know, which makes me like not even want to be bothered with the red just because I feel like it's been such a struggle. Okay, so it turns out the other one that I wanted to go to is only five minutes from here. So we're gonna go ahead and go because like I feel like I just won't be happy until I have like exhausted all of my options for beauty supply stores that I'm willing to go to. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna see if they don't have it, then I'm going back to my original one and I'm just gonna figure out something from there and keep it pushing, okay? Okay, so so far we have been to three beauty supply stores in the last hour and I have no bags <laughs> so I'm going back to my original store that I went to the very first time and whatever I can make work in here is what I'm gonna make work in here so if I end up doing black they just end up being black so the one that I just came out of where y'all saw the little part of me like walking around I found like an option to put together for the red but I just felt like the reds like they weren't matching like the reds weren't ready okay they were not they didn't they were not the same 530 you know you know what I mean so and I'm just like really particular about my hair I just I don't know you know so I'm just like okay if I end up doing black I end up doing black I really didn't want to do black because I feel like the style it's not the same style because they're twist but it's like I just had you know like 
black twist before I put these these black braids in and now I'm gonna do more black twists so it's just like uh I don't know but anyways just checking in this is like my seventh beauty supply store and I finally left with a bag but it's really not the hair <laughs> so I got I'll show you when I get home like a new edge control and some conditioner and stuff like that but I went ahead and got one pack of the regular black curly hair the same hair that I have it now all I would need is one pack so I just went ahead and got that and then none of the beauty supply stores I went to have the sensational braiding hair and I I probably just inserted a clip of the red um like I have found like a ombre burgundy type of vibe that I was gonna I felt like the two reds went together and I was gonna make it work but I opened up the pack so I could feel it and like all braiding hair is just not created equal like I just did not like the texture it was like rough I was just like no 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 I don't think so so we're not doing that actually since I'm passing this Walgreens I'm about to go stop in here real quick because I need a journal um, I'm gonna tell y'all I'm reading a new book and I need a journal to like do the um, do the activities in it so let's go run in Walgreens real quick this will be like the third Walgreens I've gone into and none of none of them had any good journals like girl why is this man right here ah! now I'm parked in curbside pickup which obviously this is not curbside pickup but oh it's so crazy how you go out and like people are out you know like is there any chance that I could just go somewhere and no one be there no okay I'm so excited oh my gosh I was trying to show y'all in the in the sun so you can like really see the color but oh my gosh so good so I'll show you guys everything we'll do a little haul when I get home okay oh my gosh so I just got home it's 157. I have not eaten anything today and it's literally two o'clock. So I'm gonna make a smoothie, a smoothie bowl, strawberry, mango, peach. And I literally just had like a scare on my way home. So I have a video under review that was supposed to go up last Wednesday. Like if you guys have not noticed, my posting days are Wednesdays and Sundays. So Sundays I try to do a vlog or like a Sunday reset on a Sunday. And then Wednesday I wanna do like content, whether it's like a try on haul, or like a morning routine, an evening routine, a shower routine, body care, self care, something like that, right? So I have a video that was supposed to go up last week under review, like literally they flagged the video immediately when I uploaded it and they were like limited ads because we don't know if it's suitable for all advertisers. And I'm like, a shower routine? Like you mean like one of the other ones that I've already posted? Like what about it? would be unsuitable so i put the video under review so it's been under review for a week so this wednesday the video has to go up like i can't just keep holding it and i don't have a video to post this wednesday so regardless of if it says limited or not i'm gonna just have to just deal with it and just i don't know it wasn't gonna have that many ads anyway because it's less than eight minutes oh. but um still like it's so annoying so i went to go check it to see if it was still under review because literally it's been a week and all of the like little dollar signs now that my channel is monetized were gone and they were all exclamation points and I was like oh my god what what is happening what is happening it's like so terrifying because I'm like I worked so hard to get this channel monetized and I'm just like no 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 like every I, this cannot be happening right now so when I got home I was like okay don't panic when I got home I checked my other channel and it was doing the same thing so it's some type of like error like loading things so now that I see it's happening on my other channel I'm like okay it's we're good like it's a it's a YouTube error issue going on right now so I'm just you know trying not to panic trying not to think about it because at the end of the day everything is always working out for me everything is always working out for me just say it over and over again and just the more you say it the more you believe it it's it's true like it's true I have this um little fortune thing right here and it says well it's from a fortune cookie right and it says in the province of one in the province of the mind what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true let me read it let me read it to you again it says in the province of the mind what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true because i'm always like we're all living in our own realities 
There is no truth. There is only perception. Whatever you believe to be true in your reality is what is true in your reality. Like if that's what you believe, then that's what it is, period. So I believe that everything is always working out for me. So, you know, think, and if the video has to go up on Wednesday with limited ads, then I don't know, it just has to go up with limited ads. I guess, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm making a smoothie. So did I feel like I already told y'all, strawberry, mango, peach. And I'm gonna, of course, put my Trader Joe's granola on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And then after I eat this, I'm gonna show y'all everything I got um, from the beauty supply because I got other other stuff besides the hair. So I just turned on Gina and I'm behind. because I'm behind, baby, because I've been watching Suits, okay? If y'all have not been, y'all haven't been watching Suits, like, I feel like everybody is watching it. And the thing about it is I wanna, I don't wanna look up anything right now because I don't want to accidentally have anything be spoiled but the show I feel like is super old like 2010 or something like very very old so I don't know what network it was on originally because I don't think that it's a Netflix original but maybe it is I really I really don't know but I've really been enjoying Suits and so I've been watching that a lot more than I've been watching my YouTube videos so I'm real behind on everybody Gina just posted a vlog and I'm behind like three vlogs so I just turned her on about to watch her eat this smoothie bowl and then I'll be back by the way have you guys been enjoying the shower routines comment down below and if y'all have any other requests for like body care like type of videos like things that you want to see let me know as well give, give me some content ideas okay because I really want to stick to like Wednesday's content Sunday vlog or spend the day with me so, something like you know lifestyle type of thing what it looks like and put it together perfect because I didn't read the instructions but this so I'm watching Gina and she's talking about how she, well, I haven't gotten to the point of whether or not she goes on the date, but that she's um, potentially going on a date with this white man. And that just made me think like, it's two to two on the clock, by the way. Um, that just makes me think like, do y'all date outside of your race? Like dating a white man, a white tea? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I feel like, <laughs> I mean, I never say never, but like I really just could not imagine myself like realistically for my universe being married to a white man. Like I just, I don't see it. When I envision my husband, I don't see, I don't see white. I don't see white, um, but I don't, I don't know. Like, it's like, oh, be open-minded. She said like, he's super attractive. He's like six, four, nice body. And I'm like, mm, okay, well, we might have to reconsider because ah, I don't know, literally it just, it just brought my thought. I've never dated a white man. I don't, I've never really been on dates. I don't date like my, okay i'll just give you guys a little backstory so we'll have a, a little mini story time so okay so okay i feel like i always start off with you guys know i'm 30 which i am right so i didn't actually go on my first real date like and what i consider a real date is just something very basic like you and the guy or whatever you and the, the person whoever gay straight whatever so me and the guy we will go to like the movies and dinner or like you'll go out to dinner and like get some ice cream after or something or you know something like that and I feel like for me girl dates have to involve food so don't invite me if there's not going to be any food involved so for me personally I didn't go on my first real date until I was 21. My very first date was with my first boyfriend <laughs> so yes 21 no I'm not lying no I'm not exaggerating no this is not a joke I'm very much being dead ass serious so I don't know if I I feel like I've never mentioned before, but I went to an all girls high school, which um, in New Orleans is like a normal thing. Like everybody go, well, okay, not everybody. Okay, so in New Orleans, high schools, you can have private school, you can have Catholic school, which is basically a private school, but they just teach religion, which is Catholicism, right? 
or you can go to public school. So public school obviously is free, like it is anywhere in the world. But if you go to a private school or like a Catholic school, you'll have to pay, right? Your parents have to like pay tuition for you to go. So at private schools, there is no, they don't teach religion. It's just like you have your basic studies or whatever, and that's it. If you go to Catholic school, you will have religion class where you learn like, you know, the Bible, they teach you Catholicism, you go to church every week, all that kind of stuff. So I went to Catholic schools my whole life. And when you go to Catholic schools, when you get to high school, and sometimes in middle school too, depending on what the school is, they split you up by gender. So you have all girls schools and you have all boys schools. And you have like a sister or like a brother school. So let's say you go to school A, which is like an all girl school. And then school A has a brother school that's an all boys school. So that that's the way it works. So like at my all girl school, no, we don't have a football team, but we have a brother school that has a football team. So we support them. We go to their games, our dancers and cheerleaders dance for them. You see how, how that works? So <clears throat> so I never, um, I never had male friends I never had male friends I never texted guys I never talked to guys I went to prom by myself like literally everybody I went to prom with like a group of girls that I was like you know kind of like cool with or whatever we would like eat lunch together but we weren't like best friends right so we decided to all go to prom together we ended up getting like a um one of those like limo party bus things and all that it was like it was cool but I was the only person who did not have a date <laughs> everybody else managed to find a date like either guys that they had met um who went to different schools or like you know friends of their brother or friends of their cousin or whatever their fr or like your friend has a boyfriend and that boyfriend has friends and so you would just take one of them yeah I, I was the only one without a date so anyway all of this is to say that I never I never dated so when I got to college um when I got to college it was so crazy because imagine okay so school high school is eighth grade to 12th grade so imagine being at an, with all girls for five years and then going to college and it's like co-ed it was such a shocking experience <laughs> just a shocking experience I was like wow I'm like actually so happy that I never had to deal with this in high school because ew <laughs> literally so when I got there obviously guys would try to talk to me and stuff but like it's college like they're not like spending money on you splurging like I want to take you here there and everywhere like nobody has any money to do that so you know it's basically when you're talking to guys you're just like hang out like you hang out in his dorm you hang out in your dorm you hang out on campus you might go to like the mall and walk around or something but I didn't actually go like actually a guy being like okay like I want to take you out and actually I met my first boyfriend on Instagram this is so funny how are we oh my gosh it's we've been talking for five minutes um I met my first boyfriend on Instagram so I say first first and only I've only I've only ever I've only ever had one boyfriend so I was 21 we dated for a year and a half maybe like a little more than a year and a half, but we never hit the two year mark. So I'd say around a year and a half we dated. He like slid into my DM on Instagram. We did not go to the same school, but he went to school in Louisiana as well. So we were maybe like three hours or so from each other. And like, we just basically had like a long distance relationship. Like he will come, he will come to, um, to New Orleans when I had like, um fall break thanksgiving christmas or whatever and like my mom would let him stay in the guest room at our house and i would stay in my room and then you know we would like hang out in the living room or you know we would go out and do things like as a family or like the two of us would like go on a date like to the movies or something <laughs> this is so funny like to the movies or something like that and then um yeah so basically that's what happened so okay so we met in the dm he slid into my dm right we talked or whatever and the very first time we met he came to my school i remember this because i went back early i think from like mardi gras break or something and he came to my school to come and visit me and like meet me for the first time and that was my first date so like at this point he had pretty much already been like you know will you be my girlfriend or whatever and we had pretty much already like you know solidified the relationship and then I met him in person and then we went on our first date which was like I don't know where we went but I'm pretty sure we went to the movies and we went to eat dinner and I was 21 and that was my very first time ever going on a date so I dated him from like 21 to what like 22 and a half right and then 
after that we broke up and then I never dated anyone again until I got into my last situationship which lasted about three and a half years so that ended when I was I think 28 so it started when I was around like 24 25 so and I'd say I only ever had one boyfriend because I did only ever have one boyfriend when I was 21 my first boyfriend this situationship it was just that it was a situationship now we had labeled it as boyfriend and girlfriend two times over the three and a half four years that we have been together but it was more so like okay boyfriend girlfriend let's try this out and we would do it for like a week or two and then we would decide that you know it just wasn't going to be the right thing for us yeah so I do not count that as me having a boyfriend like I never introduced him like this last situation I never introduced him to anyone as my boyfriend it, nothing like that but it was like it girl you done been in a situation ship before you know what a situation ship is like you do everything that couples do but you just don't have a title that's what it is that that's what it's giving it's giving we're traveling together I know your parents we FaceTime they know who I am like we go out on dates we hang out we people see you they think I'm coming with you like people see you and they be asking where I am like that that's what it's giving so girl that what that whole thing y'all can actually hear about that uh relationship on my podcast which I feel like I don't talk about that much I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get back into my podcast I'm gonna get back into it but um that was a karmic partner so that those three and a half years that like I said it was a karmic partner so it was a situation that I had to go through and everything that I experienced I had to experience he had to be exactly who he was so that I could be exactly who I needed to be and here and here we are today okay and here we are today so so we've gone from dating outside so all of that back to the original point which was dating outside my race never never I think I talked I talked to like one or two white guys while I was in college just like talk to that's it just like texting or whatever obviously it never went anywhere but yeah that's it black men for the win okay <laughs> I'm so sad I'm sad but I'm excited I'm getting ready to cut out cut out my braids oh, oh no honestly I love you so much if I didn't do my hair for a living I would like I would honestly probably just take out these two rows and like this row in the front wash all of my hair and then redo these like do a braid refresh that's what I would do but y'all know I do I do hair okay so subscribe to my hair channel I have another YouTube channel completely devoted to hair. That's where all my hair tutorials are located. Um, if I didn't want to put out a new hair video, I want to change my hair. I'm really excited and I'm going to show you all this stuff after. I'm really, really excited for my um, my red twist, but I just, it's going to be like, I'm going to get the same vibe because they're going to still be long. I'm still going to have, you know, the curly hair, but I just, I absolutely love, 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 love love these braids like I I love them so much like come on what please I'm so sad to see them go I wonder how long this is going to take me it took me basically 16 hours to install these <laughs> so it took me two days I'm like it took me two days so I'm wondering how long it's going to take me to take them out I'm thinking Oh my gosh <laughs> it is 7 25 I literally just took out my last braid so I started at three so it took me like a little over four hours to take these braids out oh oh my gosh but I'm happy that it's done you don't even please you don't even want to see this be for real this is not all of it 
I mean, come on. I'm the kind of person, like, when I'm doing my hair, I'm doing my hair. Like, whether I'm installing something, taking something out, I really don't care how the bathroom looks as long as everything stays contained in the bathroom. And once I'm done, I will clean everything up. So I'm just gonna take all this hair, put it in a bag and throw it out so that I can have some, um, you know, I can have, I'm not gonna clean up like with cleaning products and stuff, but I am gonna throw all this hair away so that I can have a clean space to begin tomorrow. Tomorrow is wash day, so I'll be doing my usual wash day routine, girl, filming my little content or whatever while I um, wash and deep condition my hair and stuff, blow dry it, and then I'll actually do my twist on, thir on Thursday. So I'm starving, starving. I mean, literally all I had was that smoothie bowl. So I'm trying to figure out, I have some leftover like chicken and rice. So I guess I'm just gonna eat that. You know, like you have something cooked and it's like, oh, you should have that because like it's already cooked, right? But I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm just gonna stop cooking chicken because every time I cook chicken at home, I just, I'm never into it. Like I'm really leaning towards like not being completely pescatarian, but like, well, I only eat I only eat seafood, chicken, and turkey. So, but I mean, that's, for turkey, like I only, when I say turkey, I mean like turkey bacon. Like I don't cook like turkey breast or anything. So the only meat that I really eat is chicken. So I'm just like, I feel like I'm not gonna stop eating it, but I'm gonna stop buying it. Because the last few times that I have made stuff with chicken, I just have not, I have not been into it. I just feel like the chicken is not good. I don't, I don't know how, it's just not like it's, the chicken is not chickening. Okay, I, I don't know. But I'm really hungry, so I am probably just gonna go ahead and eat that. While I'm here rambling, I gotta go. I'm starving, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Happy Wednesday! So obviously I look different. <laughs> Hello, hair. So I went ahead and washed my hair so it's, it's nice and clean and moisturized and I just put it up in this little bun thing because I had to go get packages. So remember I told you guys that a package was stolen from me? I'm honestly convinced that it was stolen because the picture that FedEx put, it was in like our little mail, I won't say mail room, more like mail aisle area. There is a mail room, but that's for like um, regular like post office stuff where you have like a key and you like open the mailbox. This is like our Amazon lockers and like the floor area. And the picture that FedEx put down there, it was like a super blurry picture. Like you couldn't really see anything. Like you couldn't make out what anything was. So I, the person who was delivering it, maybe, I don't know, maybe they stole it. Maybe somebody who lives in the apartment complex stole it. Maybe it was never delivered in the first place. And the person who was doing the delivery for FedEx just took any old kind of picture because they didn't even have the package or didn't feel like dealing with it. I, I don't even know. I have no explanation. I have no idea. I've checked down there a few more times the package is nowhere to be found so i let the company know and they sent it out to me again which was so so nice of them so it is vegamore and i use their products today because if y'all are not new babes love me some vegamore okay they sent me um their products the hydrate collection and pr and i used the product and i loved it i use the products and i love them it is um it's called um the main ingredient is carmatin, which is like a derivative of keratin. So it's really gonna help like smoothing out your hair and making sure it's like really nice and hydrated. So I love, love, love the products and I tagged them in a TikTok that I did. So they sent me some more. So I'm super excited. Cute little note in here. Should I, let me show you guys like this. I'm actually gonna have an affiliate code now. So if I have it and I have it by the time this vlog goes up, I'll put it down below for you guys. I really, really, really love these products and I purchased them on my own. When this package didn't come, I went ahead and just spent the $50 girl and ordered the deep conditioner off of Amazon because I needed it for today. That's how much I love these products. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh my gosh, so much. Oh, this is not even the Hydrate Collection. This is something different. So we have so much stuff. We have a brow serum. We have... A, la Ooh, a lash serum? Oh, I'm down for that. Let me kind of try to put this stuff back because I definitely want to take a pic. A hair foam. Oh, a dry shampoo. Okay, that'll be good when my hair is straight this winter. Ooh, a scalp revitalizing massager. 
okay. Oh, they have biotin gummies in here for hair. Oh, y'all can't even see. Biotin gummies for hair wellness. We have a hair serum. Oh, I'm definitely about to start using this because absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is, oh, another hair serum. Okay, that's amazing. This is the Grow Revitalizing Conditioner. So obviously all of these products are to promote hair growth. And then we have, ooh, a scalp detoxifying serum. Very, very, oh, I can't wait to try all of this. And then this is the revitalizing shampoo. So thank you so much to Vegamore for sending me these products, girl. I'm super duper excited. After I take this picture, I'm about to take out this lash serum, this brow serum, this hair, one of these hair serums, and these biotin gummies, babes. And we're about to get to work on all of that, okay? We also have another package, which is not PR, girl. I ordered some clothes. So this is from Cider. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand, if y'all shop at Cider or what's good, but I see their um, ads on Facebook like all, all the time. So I went ahead and followed them like on Instagram and stuff. And I've been following them for like probably a few months now, but I just really haven't had a need to order something or if I did it was like I needed it like next day or like in a few days that's why I always go to like first thing Amazon Fashion Nova period like Amazon is probably on Prime I can probably get it in like two days or if it's on Fashion Nova usually I can just do pay ten dollars shipping and get it in like two days so yeah but I I I was prepared ahead of time okay so my mom's birthday is actually next week so we're gonna have quite a few little things going on so I wanted to um to pick up a few a few things so I'm really excited I'm actually gonna do a full um try on haul a full try on haul for you guys I'm really I'm really excited I got I think like six five or six pieces so I'm gonna try everything on right now because that's the kind of person I am <laughs> as soon as I get clothes I have to try them on immediately like as soon as I get it I'm not somebody who just like sits the packages to the side and it's like oh I'll try them on when I do the clothing haul babe this is not a first impressions okay it's a try on haul so I'm really excited to try everything on like I'm so excited and I thought it took what like a week what is this oh they send little stickers oh and oh a 15% off your next order i thought maybe they were based like out of the country because the not, i won't say the shipping is long but it took probably like a week to get here but they're in illinois so yeah i i don't know i guess i think and i paid for shipping too because free shipping i feel like it was gonna come like at the end of the week or like early next week and i didn't want to i didn't want to chance that and have it come late so i paid for shipping i don't know how much but yeah i'm actually about to try on everything right now so i might show y'all like one or two things but y'all are gonna have to watch watch the haul if you want to see everything so yeah and then i need to pull my hair like go ahead and get the braiding pieces ready the curly pieces ready and put them on my little rack so i could be ready to go tomorrow and then also probably do a little bit of editing as well because i'm posting a sunday reset on sunday so that's going up before this vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you have not seen the sunday reset yet girl when you're done the vlog go check it out okay i'm curious to see how you guys like it because it's not vlog style it's like true content it's a voiceover so yeah we're gonna see how that goes it's different i've done a sunday reset before but i did it you know like vlog style with like regular parts of me talking and then some parts like little b-roll with like music and stuff so i'm curious to see how you guys feel about like the straight voiceover think of it as like an extended tiktok okay this is one of the little fits just a little like plain dress i'm not totally obsessed with how this is cut it gives that um what is it called i don't know like i was like a biker type of like athletic shirt you know i forgot what it's called the way that it's cut like this but it's okay not too bad and i feel like i'll pair it with this bag and these little gold sandals this is what i'm thinking about wearing for our outing on saturday i'm not gonna tell you tell you guys yet what we're doing but um but yeah i feel like this is cute so okay i have gotten two options for that saturday so i feel like this is number one for real this is gonna be the last thing i show y'all but oh my gosh y'all know how badly i want to be a long skirt girl like i want to be a long skirt girl and oh my gosh please i knew when i saw this i was like yes absolutely so i'm thinking of popping it with this like orange bag and i'm just wearing some gold sandals and i don't even know if y'all can really see it's like printed and long this is a separate little like belly chain and then these little gold sandals it's like a um 
like a wine kind of color with this green over here and there's like an orange panel in this area it has a little bit of blue i just feel like this is so, oh, this is so cute so cute wait till the hair is done and the hair is red like it's it's really giving i'm literally so annoyed like none of it no, could have kept my time kept my money and kept my excitement for myself because what i don't even know if i still want to do the try on haul like i i want to try on hauls but i'm like so excited about the clothes i could see you know sometimes i might order like seven eight things from fashion nova and maybe like one or two of them i'll be like mm, could have done without this but i could make it work this i mean like i don't know i might still do the try on haul just so i can give you guys my honest review like about each piece but really out of the six pieces that i got there was really only one that i was like oh my gosh absolutely obsessed with this in love with this so happy i got it everything else like you could have kept it and i still don't have anything to wear so one of obviously one of the things we're going to do is go to a nice dinner of course so um i don't have a dress <laughs> i don't have a dress because of the one two three well really honestly i don't know i ordered one two three four i ordered five dresses right four so of those five i had three options for dinner and really only i don't know really only like two options because one of them i was kind of like okay this is not that dressy the other one is like this purple color and my hair is going to be red and then this is the one that i really really wanted to wear which is like a nice little satin slip dress it doesn't fit right so now i gotta go back to square one which is what i always do now we got to go look at amazon now we got to go look at fashion nova um one thing that i can always say that i am grateful for is the fact that i still have a week <laughs> to get my stuff so i'm actually about to go ahead and look on probably look at amazon first honestly i'll probably just go straight to fashion nova I probably will just go straight to Fashion Nova, go look at some two-piece sets, and I bet you I could find quite a few to add to my cart and go ahead and order those and get them and know that it's going to be good, right? Know it's going to be good. So, yeah, now I have to go do that, which is like, I don't want to do that. This is why... Ugh. This is why I ordered from them but I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I might revisit them again and try like a few... I might give them one more chance and order some winter items like maybe not necessarily like I don't know I was gonna say maybe not necessarily dresses but I don't know we'll, we'll see I'll be willing to try a few more things from them one more time and I feel like if those things are not hitting the way I need them need them to hit then it's gonna be a no for me and I was like so when I tell you I was so excited about this order so excited about this order I was just like oh my gosh I can't wait till my stuff comes like I've been wanting to order stuff from them for so long and yeah no no so mm. i don't know i'm really happy about the one outfit that i got that i really really love like the long skirt like that that really did it for me like i really i love that outfit it's gonna be super cute so yeah at least at least that's one thing but these other things i just mm. I don't know 
Please, in my heart, my mind, and my body. 